when I was younger, I was very happy. When I was like blissfully, almost like blissfully ignorant, I was very happy. Like when I was a, little ch when I was a child, I say, like you just don't see the real a thought of the world that everything's great, everything's happening, everything's good. Um, and then, you know, go through, go through your work life. And, you know, I went through that mental health phase, which just really woke me up to saying, well, okay, this is a tough life. This is a hard life, right? Because um, your mum and dad protect you to some extent. Uh, mum really looked after me, bless her. She's now gone. But yeah, after after mental health, that did really wake me up to say, oh, John, I need to do, do things. But I was really happy when I was younger. Like, I, I was a very happy child. That bit, I, I think, was great. And I want to get back to that. And I said this before, I'd want to get back to that to some extent. And I think I am getting there, but I still am quite serious about certain things. And if I fast forward into my life right now, would I regret? I wish I'd been happier. I think I'm much happier now in the later parts of my life. This, you know, Although my mum passed away, you know, maybe two years ago, I think right now, you know, I, I, I'm definitely been feeling happier since after my depression. And I've been, you know, now in my work life, in, in my home life, because I've shaped it through coaching and done a lot of work, I'm definitely happier. And like you, Lee, I'm recognising what I can influence, what I can't influence, and can let that go. Although I can still be angry, right? I was even watching the news the other day, and I thought, oh, I really don't like that. I can't remember what it was. It was something. And I was thinking, oh, it's disgraceful. And I thought, what am I doing? I can't control any of that. All I can do is influence. So not wasting time on things that I can't actually control and actually really focus on things that I can. And just knowing that, like you said, Lee, about judging and not judging, and like, who am I to judge, right? Um, all we can do is you know, hold ourselves to a higher standard. Um, and not a project that on others. Um, and that's another thing that I've learned. But if I go back, if I go now to the end of my life, I think, I think I'd be all right. I think I'd be, I think I'd, you know, brought up two, two lovely children, done all right in my career. I'm pretty happy where I am, you know, um, financially, you know, well-being wise, pretty, you know, it's stuff that affects people like everybody. But, but overall, I think, you know, doing, I'm doing the things that I've always wanted to do, though I didn't know I wanted to do them until later on, like doing a podcast, like I wouldn't believe you in 20 years, we will be doing this podcast together. And, you know, I'd be talking really deep subjects. In fact, I was talking about someone this about the other day, so I dropped my pen, the other day, um, that I needed an outlet for my conversations. And uh, I always struggled, you know, because we always talk, talk about this, don't we, about you know, wanting a deeper conversation. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? All right. And you have that service conversation. And this is this is why I think I got frustrated. Not that I wasn't that happy. It's because I, did, I wasn't able to have this conversation. Now we can have them because of this podcast. And that fulfills that need. And uh, just want you, everybody's out there listening, want this to help you. So, you know, if you need something or need to shape something in your life, you know, to, to avoid that happiness, not being as happy, just, just get do things that you enjoy that's the that's the key around it and, and and shape your life around it now you're not always going to be happy i think term happiness right you can't always be happy you know there are going to be things that come in and you're not going to be that happy so just remember that it's more around purpose i think lee mentioned this a couple of podcasts ago actually if you've got a purpose i mean i get up early now and all that sort of stuff i really enjoy getting up early because i feel our purpose helping people i want to help people through sharing experiences coaching doing these videos um, and, and really just, you know, doing things I really enjoy, like my tennis and doing all that, but always focus on personal development. In fact, yesterday, I don't know if I've got it here, I took a book with me. Oh, it's not here. Anyway, it's the inner game of tennis. I picked it back up again. Um, he loves a bit of tennis. Yeah, and it's called the inner game of tennis, but it's by Timothy Galway. And I took it with me because I had a bit of time going to this offsite that I was going to. And uh, I was reading that and then someone on the offside said, what's that? And I said, well, it's a, it's a tennis book, but it's about coaching tennis book. Oh, surprise, surprise. But I love it. And this is what I love. And this is what I, I think if I went and, and I did what's on my deathbed by tomorrow, I think I'd be all right with it. Uh -huh.